Hi, this is Julie Campbell for Studio Calico, and today we'll be creating a shabby chic card set using the January card add-on called Spalding Bowl. The card add-on comes in a muslin bag that looks just like this. So we are actually going to be repurposing this bag. So to begin with, I'm just removing the string from the top of the bag, and then I'm taking a pair of scissors and I am just making a little snip here on the side of the bag and then I'm um, just pulling and ripping the fabric all the way down so that I'm opening the bag entirely. So now you have a flat piece of fabric and I'm just going to start cutting some strips. So I use my scissors to just give me a starting point and after you kind of make that initial snip it goes pretty fast. Now I'm taking the canvas strip and I'm tying a knot and one end leaving a tiny tail. We're going to be creating a, um, a shabby chic flower out of this fabric so I'm just taking the rest of the tail of fabric and I'm just basically lightly twisting and then wrapping that fabric around that initial knot that I created. So you just keep twisting and wrapping and kind of using your other hand to kind of hold everything in place. And once you've wrapped the entire strip, this is what your rosette would look like. So in order to keep the flower in this form, I'm just taking um, a regular hot glue gun and applying some adhesive there on the back. And then I'm using um, a popsicle stick and I'm just spreading that hot glue. I just want to get a thin layer of glue over the entire surface on the back. And then I can just kind of fold over those tails over the glue that's already there and just kind of seal everything. So I'm just making sure that this side is completely covered with the glue. And then covering that again with the fabric and that just seals everything in place. So the, these remaining tails you can just take a pair of scissors and snip those off. So now I'm wanting to add a pop of color to these flowers. So I'm using some Mr. Yui's spray. This is the sugar plum color and it kind of appears a little bit darker than it will be once it's nice and dry. But I went ahead and added some white Mr. Yui's over the top of it to just tone it down a bit. And then I'm taking my heat tool and just carefully just drying the flower a little bit. It goes a little bit faster this way. So this is what your little flower will look like once it's nice and dry. I used some other mists for my other remaining flowers. Um, I used a combination of honeydew, buttercup, and honor society mixed with white. So now I'm pulling out some of the ribbon that's found in this card add-on set. I'm adding some white Mr. Yui's to both of these ribbons just to kind of tone the color down once again and give it more of that shabby chic look. So now I'll just take my heat tool once again and just kind of speed up the process. So I'm just cutting off a small section of each of the ribbons. And then I'm going to be using these ribbons to create little leaves that come off the sides of these rosette flowers. So I'm taking the ribbon and then just using my hot glue gun once again, creating little bows on each end. And then once the little bows have been created, you can just take your hot glue gun and adhere the bow to the back of the flower. So here are all of my rosettes once they have the leaves on them. Next I have went ahead and I've cut and scored four A2 size card bases. And I'm taking the washi tape that's found in the card set and just tearing off a strip and applying that to the bottom of each of the cards. 
I've cut little flags out of four different pieces of pattern paper that's found in the kit. And then I used my sewing machine and just stitched a bottom border just to add a little bit of texture. So I'm just adhering those pieces of paper over the washi tape. So now I'm taking the string that we removed initially from the canvas bag and it has two different strands so I'm separating those two strands so that it just stretches our supplies a little bit more. So I want to add a piece of string to the front of each of my cards so I'm placing a little glue dot where I know that the rosette flower will cover the ends. So I'll adhere that in place and then wrap the string around and then place another little dot of glue to adhere the other edge. So I'll just trim that down. Now I want to add a sentiment to a couple of these cards. So I'm taking a couple of the more um, multi-purpose sentiments found in the set and I'm just inking those stamps with some black VersoFine ink and I'm just I'm placing that flower there just so I kind of have an idea where I want my sentiment. So then I'll stamp another sentiment on a second card. And then the final step is just to adhere the floral rosettes onto the card front. So I've decided to keep two of my cards sentiment free so that in the future when I need a card quickly I can just pull this out of my stash, add a quick sentiment such as happy birthday or thinking of you, and I have a card that's ready to go. Because these cards have a lot of dimension, I recommend mailing them in either a bubble mailer or hand delivering. This completes my video for today. Thank you so much for watching. For more information and inspiration, please visit studiocalico.com.